Friday afternoon, it's almost 2 o'clock, and I thought I would bring you guys an absolute fun little project I've been working on, and uh, OCD has its privileges, and it's an absolute pain in the ass. But, alright, so you guys know, I don't know what the spark is, there it is. I got myself the spark, and um, there's people out there that fly it FPV. They usually buy VR goggles, which you see here, um, obviously not in the way that they came. <laughs> um... But they download an app and you use like Lychee. Let me readjust myself here. <clears throat> you use Lychee and there's a couple other Vision Plus and whatnot. So I was able to find a used pair of goggles for very, 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 very cheap. These are the VR box, which are super badass. Um, tried them, threw on an app on the phone and stuffed my face into them. And they come with these cool little guys here. See if I can flip it around so you can see it. Let's see if I can magnify. Show you. There you go. Look at that. Um, with separate, separate, you know, eye sockets, and you can adjust and everything. My eyes cannot adjust to these. The goggles do not have enough depth. Enough depth. I can't talk today. It had two little spots in here. You could slide it forward and adjust so it fits the uh, eyes. Oh, catch jumping. I'm on the lap. Say hi, Faith. Uh, all right, so where the hell was I? Um, so, you know, monks looking at all these apps, I'm like, what's the effing point? I want to be able to fly immersive, where are they, with a style like my head plays. Um, if magnification was the issue as I'm talking it out with myself, then why can't I just use the screen in one magnification thing? Where the hell is it? It's still in the work, so, uh, you know. So I happen to have... Man, I forgot the name of this. I was just talking to my buddy Simeon. Simeon, if you see this video, I forgot the name of this. It's the same style that you use in the um, head plays. It's nice and smooth on one side. It's kind of like the magnifier they use at school for kids. Fresno. Fuck. Fresno. So I had one of those. It is a tiny bit short, but for this application, it does not matter. I form-fitted it. Originally, I was going to put it on the back side, but messing with both magnifiers. Oh, and the key to this beautiful thing. I believe these are called the RHO lens that I got with the head plays and I've been sitting with them and now they're all fingerprinted up collecting dust. Well, I found a freaking use for them and I love them. I'll get to that in a minute. But between finding the ocular distance, if I'm even making up a word, I don't know. I was going to put that one on the inside and then adjust that one up here to find the right depth and I was not happy. Through horsing around, swearing a lot, and cutting a bunch out of this thing, I form fit that Fresno lens to fit right over the face of this. I had cut out the center here. None of this is seen. I'm going to smooth anything that looks rough. Again, this is still in the OCD works here. And um, I got nose print on there. Look at that. So I did that, and then I'm trying to figure out how to mount the RHO lens on here without ruining, you know, the, the thing and um, completely, completely modifying this thing any more than I already have. Where is the rubber thing? There it is. All right, so I got this off. This will pop back on there, and I'll use a little hot glue to ensure because I broke some of the pins. What I did, by the luck of God, thank him very much. It's not done yet, but I took the standoffs that building quadcopter actually came from the original Storm SRD 280 V3, which is now Reaper. It comes, you can get standoff kits and all these other things. So what I did was I poked a couple holes. I'll put the nut, shave that down smooth. My face won't touch that so it won't hurt. And I just posted it through. And then it's going to sit just like so. And I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to mount it permanently. It might be just glued to be honest because this thing's not going to take any abuse. So glue it down. Or if I can get to the back side, which I might by a little more tweaking which I probably will do. We'll see. All right, so that will sit like that. And then I pop this thing back on. That thing will sit on there. I don't have both hands, so I can't work it around it very well. Work it. Yeah, yeah. So that fits on there. And now I have a fully immersive... Look at that, see? Look at that. I have a fully immersive box. Get it? Ha <laughs> ha! Um, I wish I put my tripod stand out here so I could use both hands to show you. So, with this thing, it comes with this thing. 
your phone, this zippers up and down. You slide your phone into it, and then it shoves in that slot. There's a lot of sexual jokes I'm going to leave out just in case kids are watching. <laughs> it's one of them days, one of them days. It's Cards Against Humanity Fridays at the cigar shop, so I'm excited. So, as I was saying, that will go into the slot your phone is on. Now, what makes these goggles better, in my opinion, than some of the other ones out there, and again, it was like five bucks, it comes with a freaking remote. It kind of reminds me of a uh, N64, or uh, what's that stupid thing? We're Mario Bowling, the, the Wii. Yeah, another sexual joke there. Push my button, giggity. So, what you do is you turn this thing on, your phone finds it, and I'm using the, Na the Note 8, the one I'm shooting on right now. And this thing links to it. And a little mouse pops up on your freaking screen. So you wiggle around and you push the buttons on where you need it to go. And it will use the same um, DJI Go4 app. And you'll be able to launch if you wanted to. Even though you can sticks in and do all... Where's my hand? There it is. You can sticks in and do all that stuff. But with this, you can get into the app and push on the features. Adjust the ISO, shutter speed, all that fun giggity stuff. While you're flying, and um, it works perfect for my eyes with the distance. I, again, ocular dicks, dicks. Distance, I believe I have that correct. I, that's even a word, I don't know. Um, but I have it set so with my eyes, and you know, I'm 41, so my eyes are getting older. I was able to get the distance from where my face is in the goggles to where the screen is and that distance in between with the magnifiers so it's a nice sharp picture and it doesn't hurt your eyes. Um, if I had to rate this project 1 to 10, 10 being the hardest, I'd put it 6 or 7. Anybody that's got a steady hand and is insanely creative, um, you can get in there. A pair of scissors, razor blade, the razor blade style that looks like a pencil. There's a term for it. Where you can get in, you can snip out the parts that you want. Um, if you don't use this style, whatever, but this um, will break off. And what's cool, I should have backed this up. If you use this the regular way and use one of the apps, one of the apps allows you to use, it links with the Go4 app and allows you to fly, but it's like 10 bucks or 25 if you're using a Phantom and all those crash fucking crazy quad drone things. I don't like the Phantoms at all. Um, this thing opens and closes. So if you're not using the camera on your phone, because it will leave the camera exposed on this end. So when you go to take off, you can switch the view and you'll be able to see what the camera sees. So you'll be able to see your quad drone take off and uh, go fly away. And then you flick to the other mode and then you will be linked into what the drone sees. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> so if you're looking, excuse me, <clears throat> if you're looking for an inexpensive VR device and this fits up to the note 8 and some of the bigger devices um i got a decent sized nose so it fits in here comfortably the light is well blocked um if your eyes are good with the crazy magnifying devices then you're golden i recommend this i you know i was going to get the samsung one but i knew that if i didn't like it i would end up doing this and wanting to hack up our a 60 to 80 dollar and God, I think the brand new ones are over 100 I didn't want to do that to those. So I wanted to pick up a very inexpensive set. I got it within four or five days. Um, so that's where I'm at right now. I, I got to finish putting it back together, seam up some of the stuff. I got to put back the switches that were in here and cover them up so there's no light pollution. And that's where I'm at with this crazy project. I'm... Uh, <laughs> this is supposed to be yeah i'm involved that's what i was gonna say i was in this for just a couple minutes and then i started tearing the thing apart and um i didn't even think it worked to be honest i forgot i had the rh rho lens where are they i forgot i had these and i'm glad they came free with my goggles uh, i'm hoping to see another uh, head play come out something new a little different maybe a dual diversity on them but anyway um i'm gonna mess with these and then thankfully this comes off so i'll paint it uh, I'd love to hydro dip. That'd be a cool first project, but we'll see. But uh, I got to put this thing back together and get at it and hopefully do some flying today. Thank you guys for spending some time with me. We'll see you. Let me know what you think. Peace.